You guys, it's late and I'm supposed to be asleep. I have a bedtime, you know, I'm not keeping it tonight. But so I'm sitting here scrolling on my phone after listening to today's episode of the Murdoch Murders podcast. And the podcast started off in a strange way today. It said, we at Murdoch Murders podcast have cut ties with Fitz News. No, we've severed ties with Fitz News. And I was like, hmm. I knew that Mandy and the gang had quit Fitz News. I was not aware, however, that there was bad blood. Wow, there is bad blood and it's hot goss. Let me tell you all about it. Okay, well, I'll tell you the part of it that I know. So there is this police chief in some unpronounced Saxahatchee, I don't know, Lackawatchee. There's a bunch of... um, names down in South Carolina that I really, really cannot pronounce. That's on me. Anyway, so there is this police police chief named Alexander in one of the nearby counties. And after Stephen Smith died, this police chief was supposed to, quote unquote, keep tabs on the Smith family and work as a fixer for Alex and all of his shenanigans. Well, um, Fitz News went out there and reported, okay, this police chief is crooked and he did this and he did that, blah, blah, blah. But the police chief spilled the beans, apparently, that this um, this police chief, Alexander, fathered the child of Stephen Smith's sister. Well, apparently that was a big family secret and nobody was supposed to know. And it's not relevant to this case at all. But now Will Folks, who I always thought was a little creepy, didn't I say he thought, didn't I say a while ago I thought he was a little creepy? Well, apparently Mandy now agrees. Um, So they have severed ties and they are not speaking. And I was like, oh, I have to get to the bottom of this. Why are they not speaking? Not only are they not speaking, they are not dealing with each other at all because ties have been severed. Today's episode of the Murdoch uh, Murdoch Murders podcast was all about Russell Lafitte. And it was interesting, blah, blah, blah. Go listen to today's podcast. Basically, old Russell is crying the blues because he has to be on home confinement. And he's like, wow, wow, I can't make it to my son's sports ball games. Ain't that awful? We just regular people and we po just like the rest of South Carolina. Well, they're not poor. They're not like the rest of the people. And honestly, Russell Lafitte sounds very, very crooked. And I hope he goes down with old Alex, along with all those other crooked people down there. Anyway, um, lots going on in South Carolina. I'll report more later, but I really, really need to get to bed. Also, I kind of want to talk about sister wives, but that'll be a different video entirely. All right. Have a great night. Bye.